Hello everyone, welcome back. Kevin with Survivalist Boards. Well guys and gals, we have been building up to this for several months. Have been keeping y'all updated on the persimmons and how they're doing. They're finally starting to ripen. We've getting persimmons falling on the ground and some of them are pretty good. I mean good enough to eat. See that right there guys, that's right off the tree. That just kind of peels off. Just wash them off, need them. Eat the whole thing, except for that little leaf thing I peeled off. Eat the whole thing. Wash that one off before I eat it. Here's another one. Bees, see the little honey bees and stuff. Everything feasts on these persimmons this time of year. People, pigs, deer, raccoons, <laughs> possums. I mean, everything, everything feasts on them. And usually around this time of year, hunters or if you're out in the wild or Anywhere where there's wildlife, and you may see a pile of manure, and there'll be some big seeds in that manure, those are persimmon seeds, or chances are those are persimmon seeds. And there's still a few up on a tree. We could probably get a ladder, start harvesting some of these off. Like that one right there, I don't know, with an uh, overcast sun, y'all probably can't see that too good. Probably bright, too bright in the background. There's still some on the tree they are getting ripe. They'll be dropping. I see some up there. You probably can't see it because of the bright background. We could probably get a ladder, get some of those. But these things spread like wildfire. They are just, did a video the other day about the wild persimmon trees just growing all through here, guys. We're leaving them, we're not bush hogging them down, letting them come up. All right, so what, if you find these, let's find one that we can break open. It's not rotten. Let's take this one right here, for example. It's fairly fresh. Let's open that up. See all that? That is 100% edible. All of it, except for the seeds. And as you're walking around, wherever there's wildlife this time of year, you're probably going to see manure with a big seed in it. Well, that's the persimmon seed. See how big that is? I ate some of these yesterday and had up to seven seeds. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, this one here's got six, six seeds in it. Hang on. One two three four five six six seeds so that's why they spread so good <laughs> got persimmon all over my hands now I mean, that's why they spread so proficiently or i mean they just spread like wildfire it's because there are so many seeds in them raccoon or uh, deer eat them and then they go off and poop the seeds out later on and then the seeds from there sprout up and Wild hogs probably come in and eat these. Wild hogs eat just about anything. So if you wanted to harvest these, what I'd do, what I would do is I would take it, I'd spread a tarp around the base of them. And I'd come out here and they're just going to fall. Or if you wanted to harvest them before they fail, while they're still a little bit before they're ripe. The uh, tree's probably about 50 feet tall or so. Uh, probably at least 40 feet tall. So it'd be kind of difficult to get a ladder all the way up there. You get to the ones at the top, but we could use a step ladder and get to the ones on the bottom, on these bottom leaves. And some of these, some of these trees, there's one here uh, nearby on a piece of property. It is so loaded down with persimmons that the leaves are just, the limbs are just hanging down. You just walk up to it and pick you handfuls of persimmons. Plant just the persimmon trees. I mean, just walk through the woods. You'll probably find these growing all through the southern part of the United States. How to, how to identify them. They'll have the thick, thick bark, long-laded, long-laded, oh, big word, leaves, and they'll be just loaded with persimmons this time of year, uh, late August into September. And is it, these have been dropping for several days. These persimmons have been dropping for several days. I was out here yesterday, filmed a video. That video did not come out very well. The reason why I'm saying that they have been dropping for a while is because there's a lot of seeds here on the ground that are not in the persimmons. As far as I know, somebody correct me if I'm wrong on this, as far as I know, the persimmon is the last fruit-bearing tree of the year except for pecans. Pecans will start dropping in October, into November, at the start of fall. And so this will be one of the last fruit crops of the year before pecans, and then after pecans, that's it. That's why the old homesteaders, they plant those pecan trees, harvest them in the fall, and then store the pecans through the winter, eat on them through the winter. There were some over here yesterday. I mean, just all up in here, guys. There's one right there. There's a good one. 
there's a good one right there see that top just kind of came off but like i said the whole thing's edible grows wild drought tolerant don't have to fertilize it but you do need but you do need more than one persimmetry in the area so they can cross pollinate i believe somebody correct me if i'm wrong on this but they are not self-pollinating they need another pollinator so they can cross pollinate all right guys and gals that's it for now hope y'all enjoyed the video i will talk to y'all later